Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to play the classic tune, I'll Fly Away. I'm going to show you both the verse and the chorus. I'd say this arrangement is probably from high beginner to low intermediate level, so I hope you enjoy it. If you're interested in just getting the tab for this as a PDF file that's available on my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash masonchrome. And before we get started, I just wanted to mention that if you like this sort of content, please consider hitting the like button and maybe subscribing to my channel. That helps me out a ton and I would really appreciate it, so thank you. Alright, now I'll give you a quick walkthrough of it. This version of I'll Fly Away uses the alternating thumb roll a lot, more than any other roll, so just keep that in mind. It starts with a 4-3 walk up, and then a 2-3 slide with an alternating thumb roll. Third open, five one, four open, five one. Then do an alternating thumb roll with a zero to two hammer on on the fourth string. Okay, so that's. And then you'll do another slide with an alternating thumb roll like you just did. Then you'll do it again, but with a three two pull off, so it'll be. 3, 2, pull off on the 3rd string, 2nd, and then open 3rd, and then 1st. So. Then you'll do the slide and alternating thumb roll again. Then this time you'll do the same roll you just did with the pull off, but instead of doing the open string the second time you'll do another pull off like this. Then you'll fret your C chord and do a forward roll after picking the 3rd string open. So. And here you'll do three on the second fret. First, open third, second, fourth with on the second fret because you're in the C chord. And then first, and then open fourth. So that whole C sequence sounds like this. Then you'll just do a standard G chord. fretted on the second fret. So then do a hammer on second, third, first. Okay. And then you'll do the slide and an alternating thumb roll again. And then, and then fourth. And then five one. And we did this just a minute ago just Okay. So Slide, hammer on, slide, then the hammer on like you just did. Two slides with an alternating thumb roll. Pull off. And then you'll fret a Scruggs D, which is the second fret of the third string and the fourth fret of the fourth string. And then you'll do three, two, four, one, and then a standard G lick. And after that last G, you're going to want to jump right into the chorus, which will sound like this. So that's like a Foggy Mountain Breakdown walk-up, or like I often play on Foggy Mountain Breakdown, which it's used on a lot of different songs, but that's just a standard walk-up. You'll use it here for this version. So, And it won't last very long, that third note, because the way the timing goes, you can hear the way it sounds. So just listen to that and do the same thing. And then you'll do the first string open. And then a 2-3 hammer on with a forward roll. And the same thing again. And the same thing again. Except on your way back you will do a 3-2 pull off on the third string. And then pick the fifth, open third. So. Second, pinch, and then you'll do the C chord with the same exact thing you did earlier. See that entire?
entire part right there is the same thing you did in the verse. So you've already got that. And then you'll do an alternating thumb roll starting on the fourth. Same roll but with a hammer on. Then three, one, then a two, five slide with a forward roll. Three, one, then fifth. So. And then second fret on the third string. And first. So. Then you'll do the same thing you did in the verse. And then I often end it with this little tag. I end a lot of my songs like this. You'll do five, and then second fret on the third string, fourth fret on the fourth string with a small little bend, and then third and first together. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there are any other songs that you'd like to learn, feel free to leave a request down below. I'm always open to ideas, so feel free to do that, and I'll see you next time.